Gold Cup field. Unguided Missile, the favourite, 6-4, to four, Richard Dunwoody in the saddle. Number two is All for Luck, Barry Fenton replacing Charlie Swan, who's still in Ireland, 33-1. to Non-runner Bolshe Barron, Cherry Nut at 14-1, to one. Norman Williamson looking for a double. The five then is Coombe Hill, looks fit enough to me, two to one, Jamie Osborne rides, Hannah Calm at 33 to one, Brendan Powell. Number seven is Cardi at 10 to one, Adrian Maguire. And then the eagerly awaited reappearance of Marmur, Andrew Thornton in the saddle, Marmur at nine to two. Out right of the course to the water jump, unguided missile will return at 11 to eight, Coombe Hill seven to four, and Marmur at nine to two as they clear the water jump and all land safely over it. And it's the second favorite, Coombe Hill, that shows them the way into the back straight for the final. Final time. Unguided Missile is a length and a half down in second, a half length to Marmer in third, three lengths on Cardi then from Cherry Nut and Hannah Carmen all for luck. The first down the back and Coombe Hill joined in the air there by Unguided Missile and the pace is, is uh, stepping up a little bit now, a bit more generous as they continue in driving rain down the back towards another open ditch. Coombe Hill from Unguided Missile, Marmer still under a waiting ride in third place by Andrew Thornton, just got in a little bit close to that one. Cherry Nut is now bustled along towards the inside of Cardi and then Hannah Carmen finally all for luck who's a bit tap for toe. Another plane fence then and Coombe Hill is stepping on the gas and his jumping is good. It's bold and good at the moment. Unkited Missile is second just get, given a, a shake of the reins on landing there by Richard Dunwoody. Marmur the grey in third. The final fence in the back straight is another open ditch. Marmur didn't get a tall high there. Mistake by Hannah Carm and the whip is out for Cherry Nut as Coombe Hill is beginning to beat off the rivals as they begin a right hand turn out of the back they'll run down the side of the course again towards four out and it's Coombe Hill from unguided missile Marmur now bustled along in third Cardi's going pretty well in fourth Hannah Calm out wide as they race down towards four out a slight drop on the landing side and it's Coombe Hill and unguided missile from Marmur and Cherry Nut is the fooler there right under the camera's cameraman's nose they approach the final turn then and it's Coombe Hill who leads them in but unguided missile looking dangerous Cardi goes third, just ahead of Marmo, sending out signs of distress. And these four are clear then of Hannah Calm and all for luck. Heading down towards three out then, Coombe Hill and Unguided Missile. Coombe Hill on the left, Unguided Missile in the blue jacket. Cardi in the red cap, the outside, then the grey Marmo, three out. Coombe Hill landed in front from Unguided Missile. Cardi chewing grass on landing. That's done him. Down towards the second last then, Coombe Hill and Unguided Missile. A great battle between them. Coombe Hill lands a length and a half out in front. Unguided Missile gave it a mighty clout in second place, and Coombe Hill is getting the better of this argument. It's the West Country chaser, Coombe Hill. He pings the last. He's three lengths clear of Unguided Missile, who's trying to stage a rally on the flat, but the West Country crowd are on their feet because Coombe Hill is going to win the Gym 4 Challenge Cup. Cheltenham next stop, two lengths clear of Unguided Missile. Third, then Hannah Carr, who ran a great race. Marmur in four, Cardi, whose mistake at the third last knocked him right out of contention. And finally, all for luck was the last to finish. Remember that Cherry Nut was a faller at the fourth last. You cannot argue with that. Coombe Hill, who fell, hit the deck at Sandown last time, has not put a foot wrong today in this Jim Ford Challenge Cup. I'm happy to report that Norman Williamson is up on his feet. There he is in the black and yellow star jacket from his tumble on Cherry Nut, limping slightly, but uh, knowing him, he'll be back to ride in the next race. But Coombe Hill has jumped them all silly here. Jamie Osborne had reservations about the horse on the ground and on the track today. He wondered if it would present a stern enough test of stamina for Walter Dennis's eight-year-old, but he's made every yard, and when unguided missile made that mistake at the final fence, I think he was already beat. Coombe Hill obviously not quite used to the applause. He'll have to get used to them before Cheltenham, they'll be hoping. He wins at seven to four. Second number one, unguided missile, the 11 to eight favorite, and third number six, Hannah Calm, 33 to one, non-runner number three.